Look, he's not the only one who said this. In fact, Kai Fu Lee told me a couple of weeks ago that he thinks open AI should be called and rebranded closed AI. But he is one of the most vocal critics, having been an original founder and donor. Yes, and, and many of the points that are made in this lawsuit, Elon Musk has been making for months. He has been complaining, number one, hey, I put a lot of the money into this thing. I think the lawsuit says $44 million over the first few years. It was partly my idea. Uh, you recruited all these people you know, on the strength of my personality, and the promise was that this was going to be a open source, a thing for the benefit of humanity, and now look, it has a, you know, a very very, very valuable deal with Microsoft, you know, huge revenue, uh, sky high valuation. Sam Altman's going around uh, talking about starting even bigger ventures. And, and, and Elon Musk is sort of asking and has been asking for months, how did this happen? And is this, and as he has said on, on podcasts and so on, is this even legal? Now, I should say, this is at least partly a stunt. Elon Musk has a competing company, XAI. He is doing many of the same things that he is accusing uh, Sam Altman of doing. And, and a cynic might say, well, uh, part of the reason he's mad at OpenAI is because OpenAI is doing them better than XAI is. Right. Uh, Max, Caro, I, I, I spoke to OpenAI in the last 30 minutes or so. And at this point, they declined to comment. They got nothing to say about the suit. I don't even know that it's that much of a surprise. Right, given Musk's history of using litigation for various end goals. You talked about the grok-sized elephant in the room. I do note that, that Musk engaged with uh, someone else on, on X this morning saying, gosh, the discovery process is going to be interesting because we might learn what happened that weekend that Sam Altman briefly lost his job at OpenAI, Max. Yeah, and you know, Elon Musk, as we know, we've talked about this many times on this show, he loves a spectacle, right? He loves a stunt, and he also loves to, you know, stir the pot to, to start beef with uh, various uh, billionaires and other rich guys, you know, whether it's Mark Zuckerberg or, or, or Mark Cuban. And so I think part of it is that, right? Part of this is a, a, a way that I think uh, for him to attack a potential competitor and also, you know, call attention to the role that he played or that he feels he played in the creation of this exceedingly valuable uh, industry. If you look at what Elon Musk actually wants here, like what is the what does the lawsuit ask for? It's asking for essentially uh, a judge to make the technology open source, which I suppose could hurt Microsoft, could hurt OpenAI's commercial prospects. He's also looking for a ruling uh, from a judge on whether or not GPT-4, which is open AI's, you know, state-of-the-art algorithm, whether that constitutes artificial general intelligence. And in a weird way, that's kind of a win-win for Musk, right? Because either the judge says it is artificial general intelligence, which would then benefit the case, which would it, it potentially invalidate this Microsoft deal, or it would be a judge sort of writing down that OpenAI's product is overhyped and, and it's not as good as, as they've been saying. So it's, it's kind of an interesting way to, at the very least, attack a competitor uh, you know, from kind of an unexpected angle. Now, we might say that Elon Musk has other skin in the game. And actually, if you go back in his history, his whole worry about AI getting into privately held hands was Google buying DeepMind. But he tried to buy DeepMind before Google bought it. But give the benefit of the doubt, he has a point potentially here in the fact that OpenAI has totally changed the way in which it's structured, its profitability, and also the EU and the US are both investigating. I mean, okay, so he does have a point in the sense it's absurd to say we are doing this for the benefit of humanity. Meanwhile, we're raising uh, billions, if not trillions of dollars for this for-profit enterprise. You know, it, it, like there's something inconsistent there. Musk is right to point it out. However, if OpenAI is hypocritical, Elon Musk is also hypocritical. You know, one of his complaints is that Sam Altman exerted too much control over OpenAI. Now, like, let's look at Tesla. Elon Musk, you know, exerts near absolute control over Tesla. In fact, he's having a, a huge argument with the board now about getting more shares so he can have more control over this company and has threatened to take his AI elsewhere if he can't control it. So, so there is a bit of a, you know, it, it's good enough for Elon Musk, but maybe it's not good enough for OpenAI. Okay, hypocrite versus hypocrite. Ed, you heard from the other hypocrite? Uh, I've, I've written to Elon and I've invited him onto the program with us to explain his rationale. Why did you file the suit? But I did speak to his lawyer, Morgan Chu, who politely declined to give an interview or come on the program. But that, that's the root of my question, Max, right? We've talked about the Grok side of this story. We've talked about Elon Musk's history of litigation. Whatever his motivations are, 
I, I don't really understand what the end result is, right? Because we know regulators are looking at OpenAI's model, the relationship with Microsoft. But ultimately, the compute costs are really high. They are commercializing as quickly as they can. What do, what do we think Musk is going to try and get out of this? I mean, I think the goal, uh, as I said earlier, is is to uh, attack a competitor. And 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 the fact is, you know, like Caroline said, he has a he has a point here. I mean, there, there's something a little weird about the structure, as we've been talking about, as others have been talking about, and as, of course, regulators are going to be looking at, right? One, one interpretation of this structure is that it was a way for Microsoft to get around antitrust concerns, because rather than, you know, buying an uh, AI company, it invested in this nonprofit. And, and so, again, this is just going to create further complication for OpenAI and Microsoft as they move forward. However, you know, I don't know if it's going to have a huge impact. I mean, OpenAI has, uh, you know, as, as the lawsuit basically acknowledges, you know, the market-leading technology here. You know, Microsoft is frantically putting it in all their products, putting it in Outlook and Excel and Word and so on. And, and this isn't going to stop any of that. But it is going to create, uh, you know, some serious headaches for Microsoft and OpenAI and probably ultimately for, for Elon Musk as well.